Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Sea God YouTube channel. You're tuning in to the fourth installment of the $500 Bag Lincoln build. I'm using a lot of cheap parts and random metal that I got from the homie and ingenuity that I got from a different homie. So, to start today off, we are going to be doing the front today. Um, I did kind of get ahead of myself, I'm not even going to lie. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. So here we have our front, right? This right here is about what it looks like. Currently, spring shock combo. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to be doing today, I don't know if you guys had spoke wheels, but pretty much you just beat the shit out of them. All right, well, that's enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys pretty much what we're going to be doing. <laughs> so, as you can see on this side, by this clutter of stuffs, this is what we're going to be doing. So as you can see, you got to take the sway bar off. Take that Johnny off. Um, did take off the upper ball joint already. It's actually the first one I've been able to separate without messing up. So that's cool. Um, actually remove the two bolts out of the lower arm. Drop everything down. And as you could see, I did cut the ever living fuck out of it already. And this was yesterday kind of in the dark that's why i didn't film it but yeah so i kind of started on it i couldn't couldn't help myself you know but as you could see that's what that looked like and this is what it used to look like so yeah that's stock and the other side is cut <laughs> but uh yeah so pretty much we're going to be removing all the bump stops from the uppers and the lowers after removing all the bump stops, it'll be able to lock all the way up and lay all the way down as it pleases. I did use a piece of cardboard already, as you can see. That piece of cardboard there is what I set on top of the lower arm and kind of cut it out with a knife to trace it. And then I have it marked here on my, on my sheet of metal that I have. This is going to be getting cut out and welded on top of the stock arms over here. And after that's welded in place, I already have the, the upper cups kind of prepared. And everything's kind of mocked up already. So as you can see, it is bolted in on the top. So that is where that bag will sit. I mean, it's not tightened, but it is bolted in either way. And then I'll, once I, I get the plate on the lowers, we'll go ahead and bolt everything back up. And we'll kind of cycle it up and down and see where exactly I want to put the hole in the bottom to mount on the bottom of the bag. That way everything sits good and you got to make sure we got a good enough clearance all the way around the bag that way nothing touches and we should be golden. And from here running the line in is as easy as one two three. Actually just one two because they ain't even no three. So yeah I'm probably gonna start today off by cutting out both the lowers the plate for the lowers I'm gonna finish up completely the driver side maybe I might start the disassembly on the passenger side but uh, I'll bring you guys back whenever I got some more progress on her okay guys so as you can see I got the passenger side and all nice and taken apart I did end up removing the entire sway bar I got both the bolts out of the lower control arm. I got the spring removed. I've already got the lower or the upper bump stop removed and the lower bump stop. Uh, I separated the top ball joint again. Shout out to these ball joints because they actually came apart just by beating them with a hammer a little bit. Um, from here, I do need to cut the ever living shit out of this. And I'll take you guys to the other side. As you can see, I removed the bag from this side. So you couldn't really get an idea of how much I cut. As you could see, it was quite a bit. <laughs> so yeah, we have a huge pocket cut out for these bags because we really don't want anything touching them. Because, uh, yeah, I don't think you want to be stranded on the side of the road with a blown bag because you didn't cut enough. So, make sure to cut the ever-living fuck out of it, like I said. So from here, I'm probably going to get juking on either cutting out the lowers or cutting out the bag pocket on the passenger side. So, actually, 
think I'm gonna get a little frisky. I'm gonna start cutting out the lowers. That way I can kind of mock up the passenger side or the driver side. Either way, I'm, I'm gonna cut all the shit and then I'll bring you guys back. What up is young buckers? To give you guys a little bit of an update. So I cut the ever living fuck out of the frame. I have these Johnny's cut out now as well. As you could see, I kind of have OCD. I don't know if I've told y'all before, but yeah, so that's why these Johnny's are damn near identical pieces. So hopefully the lower control arms are also identical and we'll be in business. But yeah. Pretty much identical slab out this, all right? So these are going to go on the lower control arms such as this. That'll fit about right there. So that's what the lower arms are going to look like plated. And then I'm probably just going to run hella either a full bead all the way down the Johnny or like a stitch weld and who knows. But it it's going to have some welding done on the sides because there's a gap on the back side and the front side. The uh, sway bar link is in the way. So, yeah, that'll give you an idea. So from here, as you can see, I really, really cut it. And I have like a, I could fit my palm all the way around the bag whenever it's in place. Same with the other side. The other side... really cut up so let me break it down for y'all so pretty much I cut up as much as I could because there's this little bracket right here and it comes down right here and it, there's a weld right there so I'm cut right underneath the weld all the way back here and all the way down this way so this let me see if it'll brighten it up for y'all this is kind of like curved this is all the way to the inside of the frame and then this side is also kind of curved as well to clear the bag and this is just cut up because i'm assuming once i put it in i'm going to try to bring it as far outwards as i can to get away from this wall because i can't really do anything else more with this um i'm not too sure if i'm going to be welding this up but i mean I may as well weld it up because the frame is kind of like in plies, you know. So I might just put some weld on this to make this strong again. As if I never cut the fuck out of it. But uh, we'll see when we get there. I still got to clean up these lower arms. I'm going to go th over them with a wire wheel or at least in the, in the spots where I'm going to weld. And then the uppers will get welded in place. Or the not the uppers but the lower plates. And I'll probably record that actually just because I don't really give you guys too much like action footage or whatever. So I'll go ahead and record that. And then from there, I'm going to bolt the bags in, have the lower arms back bolted in place with the sway bar and everything. Well, actually, I don't know about the sway bar, but I'll be cycling it and repositioning the bag. Here, I'll take you over to the other side for this one. I'm going to be cycling the suspension up and down and I'm going to trace a circle around the lower part of the bag where I have it where I want it because ideally when the bag is completely aired out you want it to sit straight up and down it might bow out kind of like that but it'll come down and sit flat and that's what you want with the bags anyways so I'm going to be cycling it once the lowers are welded into place and once it's cycled and I find out where it needs to be, then I'm going to mark it like a little circle around where the bag is at, find the center point and drill the hole to be able to bolt the bag in. And at that point, that'll get painted. If I do end up welding this stuff's up, then that'll also get painted. And then from there, I'll work on running the airlines this way. And then after that, it should be ready for final assembly after the paint dries. So yeah guys we're we're almost there we're almost there I'm actually I don't know if I want to show you guys the car fully laid out yet I really uh, I don't know I kind of want to make a whole nother video just to leave you guys on the edge but we'll see we'll see for sure I'll definitely mock it up um, and show you what the front looks like aired out since I've already showed you what the back but as for the whole car actually on the floor 
you just might have to wait for that one. Alright guys, well as you can see, I was fucking putting in work and I blew the 110 breaker. So, RIP to me. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and flip it and get back to it. <laughs> okay guys, so I was trying to be fancy and like do it in one bead for you guys, just so that it looks real clean. But my 110 breaker was saying otherwise. So, I did one side in like two passes and the other side the breaker tripped like two or three times. So, it was a little bit of start and stops, but this is what she looks like. nice and welded all the way on yeah old girl ain't going nowhere I'll tell you that much this shit is on there for life kind of like that nigga CJ Grove Street for life either way so yeah this side is already fully welded on um, I am going to weld this up a little bit right now and hopefully my breaker don't blow again but uh, either way um, I'm going to do the other side, and I'm probably not going to film it, just for the fact that uh, my 110 breaker sucks, but, yeah, so that's why I got 220 in the garage for whenever I'm working on the truck, but this will do for the car, I guess. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you're liking the content. I'm really close to getting the front done. After this, the lowers are going to get painted. The upper frame area is also going to get painted after I weld it. And then from there, I'll work on running the lines, blah, blah, blah. I've already told you this. So stay tuned. And here in a little bit, I'll have the bags in and going up and down-ish, maybe. All right, guys. So before I actually go ahead and start putting the bags in and whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I did clean everything up with the wire wheel. Um, I'm actually not going to weld all of it um, where I cut the frame. So here's what we have. Nice and cleaned up looks like jewelry damn near but yeah so there's that as you can see inside of here i just kind of put together this stuff because the frame kind of overlaps here and there but this is actually kind of fucking gapped and i need the most bag clearance inside so i'm gonna just leave that but i'm gonna hit it with some paint take you over onto the other side here you can really see that that got beaded on pretty nice but um, yeah like I said I'm gonna leave that area that kind of got welded really hard to see but a little bit and here's this here pretty nice looking um, yeah I was underneath the car welding so I mean it is what it is this side as well fully welded and cleaned up I'm gonna hit this as well as the uppers with some paint and uh, I need to paint these cups still this one I had mocked up already and had it welded I went ahead and freshly welded this one on now so you can see that's welded still a tiny bit warm but I'm gonna go ahead and hit those with paint as well and then we'll start actually go ahead and mocking everything up and trying to go up and down with it yo so we got the bags put in now everything's pretty much assembled and ready to go I'll show you what that looks like right now there we have it boyos that's our lower plate um, I do need to go back and trim here some more uh, but yeah as you see I have that marked um, I did already trim the other side for that because it turns out I needed more but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I marked it to put the bottom hole, I don't know if you could see it, but I have marks right there. I'll go over to the other side, let you guys see it. <sighs> so as you can see on this side, I did indeed 
trim the top some more right here cut the living poop out of it okay so the way I did this is as you can see the bag they have these little sections right so there's these little sections here from here to here and on these bags they have kind of like a seam so I marked it here on either side of the bag whenever I have it all the way compressed upwards so as you can see there kind of I have it marked on either side of the bag so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a measurement from there and uh, in the center is where I'll make my 3 8 hole to be able to bolt them up so for this side it's pretty much complete the lines are already ran you can see here lines are in there running down into the bag the bag is fully bolted in I've already made it the suspension compress all the way up and the bag isn't touching anywhere on this side on the other side it was hitting here so I'm gonna hit this again with some paint before final assembly the other side still needs to be trimmed but whenever I take apart the top ball joint again to be able to drill the hole in the bottom plate that's whenever I'll trim that side and repaint it and then I'll put the ball joint back and it'll be done after bolting the the bags in on the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and completely finish the setup and then I'm probably going to jack the car up and put the stands underneath the lower control arm. That way I can actually like put air to the bags and stuff and be able to see the whole travel of it before I finalize it and call it done and put the wheels back on. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the bottom holes as well as shave the other side some more. And then I'll bring you guys back when I'm cycling. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, so she is pretty much like 99% complete. Um, this is what she looks like. I got jack stands underneath the lower arms. So that's about laying right there. I'll go ahead and show y'all. So as you can see, we got the bag clearance on lock. Like it ain't touching nowhere all around this Johnny. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm maxing out on. Like I said, it's 99% complete. I need to bolt that brake line back in. But, yeah. Old girls aired out to zero pressure, bro. Zero pressure. This side was the side that was hitting. As you can see, clearance that Johnny real nicely. Ain't no more hitting. Um, yeah, I need the brake line on both sides, but RIP. Either way, there she is. And I'm going to go ahead and hit her with some air right now. And I don't really know, but my ghetto-ass valve is kind of leaking. I don't know. But, either way, yeah, so that right there, a little over 40 PSI. So that's what it looks like with a little bit of air in the bags. Um, I'm kind of sketched out, lifting it all the way up, just for the fact that it's on these ghetto stands. So, probably not going to do that. But, I am going to put the wheels back on, and then I'm going to lay it out again, and we'll see what's good with it. So stay tuned for that, and then after that, that'll probably be the end of this video. And I think I'm going to leave y'all on a little cliffhanger, see what it looked like laid out for myself, and I'll show y'all in the finale video. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering why I'm kneeled down next to my truck, but let me show you. That'll be the reason why. Okay, so... I got old girl laid out. Um, it's not really uh, as satisfactory as I'd hope. So we'll see what the fuck's good. But that is indeed at zero PSI. Sitting all the way down. So I mean, I guess it's decent. You know. It looks pretty legit. Um... I am going to go ahead and set it on the ground now and see if that makes any difference. But unfortunately for you guys, you're going to have to wait until the next video to see what the fuck is up with the Lincoln. 
And honestly, I'm probably going to wash it and do all that extra stuff because it's pretty fucking dirty right now. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you like this $500 build and you want to see more, not necessarily builds, you know, because I'm not necessarily a young rich nigga, but I'm a young, you know, average nigga, whatever you want to say. So if you want to see more, make sure to like the video, comment what you want to see down below, you know, because obviously I'm going to start working on the truck again now that I got the car on air. So yeah, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I really want to know, you know. Because as you can see, I got this link right here. I know you guys are itching to see it on the floor, but I'm going to make you wait for that one. I'm so fake.